All right, so we're gonna continue. Last time we left, and this is the place where we left. We were about to go hiking at that like a canyon, or so what? And yeah, let's continue our journey. Okay, okay, so let's go. I got Marina's attention too. She stares up as if she's picking out specific details in the fog. Once she's distracted, I let my gaze rope over her again. Kiltily. Kiltily. Like I'm sneaking in places, but I don't care. Admiring the sweep of her shoulders down into her color color bone, <laughs> into color bone, and then and the and the rest of curves of her body. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> I need to say hi directly, Tabi. Okay. Maybe this is gonna help a little bit. I let myself examine her like I did when we first met, L and like I've been consciously abstaining from, looking her over like it doesn't matter if she catches me anymore. Okay, I um, wonder where you're gonna go with this Amber, you kinda like a... Uh, hmm... Want her so badly, I will say. It does... She doesn't... Do she doesn't... It doesn't, though. I may as well be invisible to her right now while she studies the mountain st tops. And I want her to pay attention to me. And she's wearing her usual body, body good brand clothes. Her cute frill, frill man. frilliness is just as perfect as ever for Marina, but they clash with the clunkiness of the ugly brown boots. Oh, oh, yeah, yikes. You sure you want to wear that? They might just get in the way. Yeah, I mean, that's not the good, like, uh, clothes to wear when you're gonna go hiking at them canyons. Especially, like, those. Uh, yeah, those look like huge canyon. I mean, yeah, it's after all in, like, a... Uh, uh, are we still in the Utah, by the way? The caps, almost offended by the succession that she's wear anything else. But my skirt is so comfy. Aren't you supposed to wear comfy clothes on hikes? Mm, I mean, yeah, but it also not like that clothes. Those clothes are like a... Not good for hiking. Besides, with a name like Angel's Landing, it has to be pretty relaxing. I will not count on that. She gives me a big, honest smile, keeping her head to the heels. It's the first real smile I've seen from her all day. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Sure, okay, let's go. Let's see how this is gonna go down. I melt, letting her squeeze at reason in fall to the face side just this once. Warm voices and goofy grin take over my door mood. Just for a moment. Alright, but no whining if they end up being a problem. That's... That's a pretty good answer, I would say. Yeah, that's a good answer. Slinging the backpacks. Oh, uh, actually, there is only one backpack. Slinging the backpack over my shoulder, we head for the shuttle that leads to the rail. Blocks and stone, fire pit adorn the side of each lot that we pass. Maybe when. We get back and we we'll go to the camp store and pick up some supplies to roast marshmallows. Hmm, yeah, that sounds good. I think she's she'd like that. Yeah, marshmallows. Roasted marshmallows sounds awesome. Yeah, this it doesn't this doesn't look good at all. <clears throat> okay. Hell was in my mouth. Marina's heavy breathing guides me as we slog our way uphill. The pre previous light mist having now morphed into a thick and dreary, dreary fog. 
I cling to the chain railing as I stumble my way up to the rail of drugs. Only protection from the teardrop offside us. All it will take is one slip for me to take a nose dive into the valley below. And I won't even see it coming. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah. You don't wanna end up in the valley, and especially like falling into one. There's, turns out the floppy and extinction name, Ancient Landing, doesn't come with the relaxing stroll Marina was hoping for. This feels more like a ghastly death march. My sweat, reads, reds legs, feel like body budding around the anchor that is measly by by pounds back back. No one else on the saddle even bothered to attempt the hike alongside us. I attempt to form words between painted breeds, feeling like a rock is being smashed into my lungs with each step. We should turn back. Can't see Jack. <laughs> yeah, that's those, yeah. It's not safe up here. Yeah. Uh... What? <laughs> it sounds like she's doing about as well as me, echoing the same lung and puncturing gasps. But we're so close. There's no way we're not almost there. We stop collapsing against our knees as we try to catch our breath. Not gonna mean a lot if we end up falling off a cliff. <laughs> I thought you were the one who wanted to do this so bad. Every couple of words are punctuated by her gasping of breath. Yeah, but Amber, let's keep going. Her voice is whimpering, fragile and meek. I fold. Okay, okay. <laughs> Marina has a way of making me shut up when she wants to, whatever she knows it or not. Today it doesn't make a difference. I'm not going to be the one who makes things worse. She's wrong about one thing, though I wasn't the one who wanted to hike up he here. Cramps was. Ah, yeah. It gets easier after our break. The trail. Oof. Oh, I got scared about like it suddenly, like it sounded. Suddenly, the sound effect started kicking like extremely like game. Okay, one, two. Yeah. Mm. Sounds. Sounds a bit of a like uncanny. A bit. The trail begins to plateau and the steepness events, events out, fading behind us until the return trip. Ooh, I think we're already here. See? <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, are you there? Oh, Marina darts, darts ahead, disappearing into the box so she can look at the mythical view that the rock Procure, procure, and I have bridge to her and cramps to me. But if my suspicions are right, this weather and the view aren't going to be very compatible. Following behind, I step out the cloudy mark and I in and into the into a into an area that offers only slightly more visibility. Marina stands still on the center of cliff, her hand clutches to the, her heart. What should be bird eye view of Zion is nothing but the sea of fog. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, is this, this is like a bad timing. Not like a right time to like a go, go look to, to the canyons. Or actually view, basically, especially the valleys. Because you cannot see anything. Yeah, it makes sense. The glass screen and full valleys are invisible. Only view over from bosses and some rocky points peek out above the clouds. 
I was expecting it, but the site itself really is numbing. The hollowness in my stomach, the one I got them so used to feeling, reared its head once again, only intensified by Marina's silence. Any expression so shrouded by her banks, and she tilts her head down. Sorry. Tenderly, she shakes her head. Head. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. You tried to warn me, Marina. But I don't know what to say. I'm disappointed too. There were a lot of blazer cramps always talking about visiting. After we settled down and kicked back for a few years, after I finished in repairing the RV, after I got better, this place came up more than the others, though. Not just Zion, but the landing. Kept say saying we were going to hike up here, have a picnic, maybe watch the sun comes, come up. Come on. Slight, slight smile has come to my face as I think about him trying to make that hike. I have liked to see it, the Caesar try. While I'm not the big enough sap to try and make all of my Gramps plans happen now, it would be nice to see the view. Yeah, I mean, like a, I will say like a, up here it's look pretty nice at me, but yeah, if I could see like a like a brute box, pretty much, or if there will be any box, if I will be honest here, then yeah, this is probably view gonna be actually really nice, like, uh, really nice. With Gramps, Marina, and everything that happened over the past month, it just seemed fitting to make the trip. Angel landing. And clanks back to Marina. The hand that was clutched to her chest now stretched outwards, grasping at the empty air. A slight breeze blows through, ruffling her ha hair. It looks beautiful. It looks okay. All right, Amber. All right, uh, you horny bastard. Um, all right, calm down, Amber. He looks angelic, of course, Amber. Hold on. Okay, I didn't go to church much as a kid, but she looks like someone I see on a stained glass window, right next to the to a rendition of Calvary or Skull Hill. It's frustrating to ha have come this far for nothing, but is it because of the walk? Because of the cramps? Or because of Marina, my teeth grit grinding against each other under what feels like an unimaginable weight. Come on, let's go. I turn around and begin down to the slope. There's nothing else worth seeing up here. Marina doesn't follow. No spirit footstep trailing behind me. No speeding bullet blazing ahead. Marina, we're going. It comes out with more bite than I intended, but I don't care. I just want to get out of here now. Marina is hesitating to answer, but eventually managed to spit it out, sounding more like a question than actual statement. I don't want to. Damn it. Damn it, Marina. What? <laughs> I don't want to leave. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. No, yet I turn back to her for explanation, only to be greeted by a bla blading look instead. Well, I'm used to it by now. I know I am. But do you think we could wait a little longer? Just to see if the fog clears? Ah, uh, she wanted to see it so badly. Is that so I wanted to see it so badly? I don't know what it is. I just found with the blanks there. It's like she's not even talking to me. Don't be stupid. I start 
I start back down the hill, not bothering to wait for Marina at this time. It's past noon. If it hasn't cleared by now, then it's not going to anytime soon. So much for not making things works. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So this was oh so we did again one chapter now. It is one chapter. Oh. Oh it's a one of these. Nice. Uh oh my nose. Oh I need oh hold on, I'm gonna come back soon. Okay, okay, back, back, back. Back for the business, so let's see. Uh recording? Fine. Okay, so yeah, actually, we, we actually did the... Okay, so we are actually... Uh, about halfway of game now. So, officially, like, we actually have done half, it seems like. Okay, well, this game has been fucking long, like, okay. And, yeah, okay, this... I'm, I'm gonna be excited to see what else there is more to offer. I nudge the fire with the stick. It doesn't do any good, though. As the locks just stumble on the top of each other, smothering the already pitiful flame. For a moment, our lot is only lit by the few remaining <coughs> embers in the pit. Psyching, I grab the bottle of lighter fluid and squirt into on the, the ashes. Uh, an artificial flame rolls into ex this ex ex. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't see my mood anymore. Speak. An artificial flame rolls into existence. It peters to the size of a pathetic. Pathetic. A pathetic candle flickers just as quickly. I plunge the stick back into the fire and scrape cinders from the glowing wood. Eventually, a flame catches on a sorted lock. And grows until the pit is blazing once again. Aha! About damn time. Joy is exclusive to me, however, as Marina stays silent, stare into the fire. Want another s'more? She bounces back to life. She seems to be happy. This looks like a more like a art portrait, like a some kind of like a really like a. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's looking like a really... Like a wallpaper... Wallpaper picture. Yeah, it's look like wallpaper picture, pretty much. And we had a already like a one or two of these. Yeah. Yeah, I think. He punches back to the life. Oh my god, yes, please! He seems to be happy. He catches herself and reaches back to broodiness. I, I mean... Sure, I guess. <laughs> Hesitation. I roll my eyes, but can't help smiling on the s inside. No matter how hard she tries, she's still the same Marina she always been. I grab mar a marshmallow and stick in it on the end of the bent coat hanger before handing it to her. Without another word, she plops it into the fire. Meanwhile, my eyes are drawn to the neck laid at back of hot dogs lying behind the chocolate and gra graham crackers unopen it and ignore it i bought them because i thought marina would like the variety but i still have known that she will only go after the marshmallows then be devouring them she opened the back when we left the store and it was half empty by the time we got back to the campsite <laughs> He cl clunk the back like a security blanket the whole way. It's a miracle there are even any left. Rocking, I take one of the hot dogs out of the back and impale it on my coat hanger, then put it in, in the fire next to Marina's. Even when we, we are this close to each other, there's still an air of tension. Air of tension. Air of tension. The only that pervaded since we left Arches. Neither of us have addressed it, but the inevitably of the reserve. The dick unseen, un, 
uneasiness that hangs over us, it's suppressed, but it's definitely there. But it's gotten better since we left Angel's Landing. The snacks were a piece of offering of sorts, I guess. Although I was pleasantly surprised that she sat so close to me, even with the three other locks around the fire pit. I fix my gaze on the flame, the dog is slimy, oozing with the condensation. Satian. Condescent. Condensation that rips and settles in the asses. Oh god, it's on fire! It's on fire! 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 Jesus, I got fucking scared. Marina Goat Hanger hoes over me like a spastic comet. The marshmallow now is smoldering ball of, of inferno. Here, give it to me! But it's on fire, Amber! Fire! <laughs> I can see that, just give it! She panics, screamed me as precious marshmallow burned before her very eyes. Alright, just don't hurt yourself, please. <laughs> Frantically. Frankly. 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 She passes me the fire, beating her nails as I try to blow it out. Soon the fire clears. Marshmallow, once white and floppy, is now black and charred. Aw, now it's ruined. It's no big deal. You can still eat it. Prepare me the more. I break apart the chocolate rack and tracker, then squeeze the marshmallow between them. Ew, gross! But it's all black and stuff. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. Honestly, I think I might prefer it burned. Burned. That's so. ew. <laughs> He gives a nervous laugh. Here, just try it. Marina stare at the s'more. Uh, Marina stare at... Wait, what the... What the hell is the... The more? What the hell? Marina stare at the s'more and gulps. Fine, but only because you asked. Ah. Closing her eyes, she opened her mouth wide. Wide open. This time it my turn to gulp. I shovel back. Subline sub trying to avoid eye contact and once again failing. I popped the more into her mouth and let our rest full sight. Like bubble gum. She munched on it in the corner of her mouth, intently trying to dissect. Flavor in her own cute way. So, her eyes grow white in fuck. It's good, right? Doesn't it give it a nice smoky flavor? Mhm. Mm it's a little bitter at first, but the marshmallow gets really crunchy. So good. Hmm. I told you so. You just gotta give these things a shot. Yeah, sounds pretty good. I can't believe I had my first s'more and found a way to make it better in the same day! I feel like that would take most people, like, a bajillion years to figure out. Bajillion years. But it only took me one night, cause I got you, Amber. Gob smack it. Dumbfounded. They're, they're both stupid. Fancy work. But I think they work when trying to figure out this thing sitting beside me. Amber? You're kidding me! What? Your first s'more? More? Oh, okay. Uh, I was confused about like uh, this. Okay. Your first s'more. Well, I've seen people eat them on TV and stuff before, but... You have never ever had a s'more in your entire life. Okay, I need to Google this. The hell? Now I'm... Now I'm more confused than ever. The hell is more? Oh, it's it's one of these. Okay, I have. Okay, a s'more is a campfire treat popular in the United States and Canada, consisting of one or more toasted marshmallow and layer of chocolate sandwiches between two pieces of graham crackers. Oh, oh, s'more. Okay, now I get it. that. Actually, looks pretty nice. Actually, okay, I need to try that. 
I need to like get to like some to trust that like a fucking oops I opened the discord okay uh close the discord okay I need to like get crush some fucking marshmallow and get him those crackers and so on and put it like between those and like it's having chocolate and like okay, maybe like a little bit some kind of like a uh, cream between there and taste it. That sounds actually pretty like a nice treat actually. Now that I think about it, I guess I haven't. Well, I mean, it was your first time. I had e never either, but yeah, it's more like a American thing or American and Can Canadian thing. That confirms it. That confirms it. Huh? Confirms what? You're an alien. The government has just been keeping you hidden all this time. That's why I met you near Roswell. <laughs> the only explanation. God damn, I'm very you are fucking stupid now. I am not. If I were an alien, then why do I look human? That's just a flesh suit. A disguise so you can blend in. <laughs> That's mean. You can't just buy these good looks at the costume store. What's your sector ID? Is this your first time away from your home planet? <laughs> Amber, stop! It's not my fault! Her face pops out and I have to resist the urge to poke and deflate it. If I don't quit, she may actually start pouting. I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm tempted to squeeze one more joker. But decided against it as I tried to hold back the sneaker under my breath. Hmm. I think I like you better when you're serious. <laughs> she crosses her arms, turn away as she closes both eyes, block me out. Then, with a grind, one open, one eye open. We both burst out of laughing. Is the hike the walk has glimpsed down the hill in full lobe in the campground? Even here, it's carved out of small pocket, the breeze is still surrounding us as we take in the warm glow the fire. It feels nice, but for real, I still can't believe this is your first time leaving home. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's actually. Is actually a really good question because when we met actually like a marina, I think she was trying to get somewhere. Was it like into Colorado she was trying to get? And I don't actually remember what was the reason, but there was a, some kind of reason to go there. But yeah, she's now first time out of home. Hmm, yeah. Uh, how old these guys were? Were these guys like 18 and 19 years old? Both of them? She settles down a bit and places her hands in her lap, teetering side to side as she looks to the sky, even though there's nothing to look at but mist. Yeah, sometimes I have trouble believing it too. Hmm, yeah. Since there's so many of us, I guess mom and dad could never afford to take us anywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 because you had like so many like sisters and brothers. That's what I thought. If her family is as big as she says, it's not like they could have just packed it up and travel like me and crabs. Yeah, I mean it's easy to like a travel when you have like a only like a one close one sibling, like you don't have like a huge family. So yeah, it's much more easier to travel then. You said you have nine brothers and sisters, right? Yep. There's nine of us plus mom and dad, so eleven all together. Let's say Sounds like a hell. It sounds like a hell. Jesus. Yeah, it sounds like a hell. Right? Everyone says our house is pretty big, but it's always been so cramped that I've never been able to tell. I've never even had my own room. I've always had to share one with some of my sisters. My older brother shared two until one of them went off to college. Is that the same brother whose car got torn apart by Mariah? This laughs quit. Guiltily. Yeah, he always called it his love wagon. <laughs> love wagon? Love wagon? If that thing was a love wagon, then my motorhome is a love palace. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good name for it. 
Don't even start. Anyway, he said he wanted to get a new one when he got to Salt Lake City, so I don't think he'll be too angry. Oh. Okay, that's from the Salt Lake City. All right. Hold on. That's in Utah, too. Why didn't you tell me? The detour would have been a pain in the ass. But if you wanted to visit him, I wouldn't have minded the extra miles. Not if it was for you. That's nice. I mean, I does a double take and realize that I given too much away. You'd have to pay for gas, though. <laughs> Marina blinks the smile. Crisis averted. Nah, it's okay. I want to do this without my family's help. Besides, it's only a community college. <laughs> Your brother moved from New Mexico to Utah so he could attend a community college. I mean, well, I mean, what's wrong with like a uh, with? I mean, what's wrong with the community college? Like, uh, I mean, uh, it. I mean, it's a college anyway. I mean, doesn't mean it doesn't mean like if you go like a community college, it's like a public like it's college, not the private one. So, what's wrong with the that one? Uh huh. He sends me a gift every month. Last month it was a top hat. I put it right on top of the desk in my room. He pauses for a moment. Uh, mine and my sister's room. I mean. Your family sounds about as weird as you. Really? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we are. The beam C beams. Very the title of very weird, like a patch of honor. That's not a good fit. Actually, maybe it is. I like it. Besides, Dad keeps us all in line. He's a defense lawyer, super straight laced. Defense lawyer. You remind me of him, actually. He likes everything nice and orderly, which is bad for him because he's surrounded by us. But he talks for a long time, stuttering and laughing about her family. The smile never leaving her face. I almost get lost in it. I almost want to. Or. Precious minutes that she speaks. I forget the tension that Sutter us sings arches, and I and could believe it was never there. I love that about Marina. Even when we wet with rain, or humoring truck drivers, or tracing a lunatic down the highway, she never hesitates to smile. For her, it always poised on the brim, waiting to sign through. I could listen all night, but she strikes off only a short time later. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this must be boring, right? Nah, I can tell you love him a lot. It was always just me and Gramps, so it's sort of interesting to see how other families work. The, l the lot falls. The lot falls silence, save for the crackling flames. I praise myself for what I know is coming. Hey, Amber? What happened to your mom and dad? Ooh. Actually, I don't know either. I don't think so. I stare into the fire, it pops, casting up delicate embers that fall and vanish into dirt. Let me bet, uh... They die when she was really like, okay, just a baby or something. So the gra Gramps is only family to her, basically. This is my bet, but I might be I might be wrong. I'm sorry. That was too personal. No, it's fine. They're both around, I think. Only met dad once a long time ago. Oh. They are actually around, so what the hell they are, and why you have not not met them? <sighs> Me and Ma don't get along very well. I haven't spoken to her since I was 16. Last I heard, she was living in some trailer park in Ohio. Oh. I see. Is that why you lived with your grandpa? Sorta. Ma always had her... issues. So the court said Gramps could take care of me when I was a baby. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I stifle a laugh. Not that it did any good. The geezer had the bright idea to haul me around the Midwest and East Coast for half my life. 
I mean, that sounds, I mean, uh, that doesn't really necessarily like uh, sound bad idea. That's like, uh, seems to be like a hell of a lot of adventure in like uh, Midwest and East Coast. Yeah, I mean, okay, I will be down for that. Like, uh, that sounds like uh, exciting. You just go to the place from, bl from place to place. He took care of you all by himself? He must have been amazing. <laughs> Try again. He was an old hippie who was stuck in the 70s and spent most of his time listening to weird music. Oh, that's you why you listen in that kind of like a... Uh, it sounds like a... How do I say it? It sounds like a stoner rock or like a desert rock music. Like a little bit. Remind me. I am not listening much of like a stoner or desert rock. But it sounds like a pretty similar on some shows, so that's why, so he was a hippie. I see, I see. So that, that's why he's traveling a lot from place to place. Yeah, that makes sense. Sounds just like you. Hmm. I mean, sort of, but not quite. Hey, watch it. If anything, he was more like you. I was always cleaning up his messes, even as a little girl, even near the... Oof. I saw kind of growing lump in my throat. Even near the end. Oh. Amber, I... It was always just the two of us, though. Us, or any random old friend he wanted to see. Even when he decided to settle down in Colorado, it was just us. People would come and go, but it was always us. And I was there for all of it. I was there for every single appointment. I was there at the hospital, and I was there at the funeral. Jesus. Ma didn't even bother to come to that, but I was there. And he was always there too. Hmm. You really miss him, huh? My voice lowers to a whisper, raspy and dry. Yeah. Something slumps against my shoulder. Facing down, I just got Marina's head resting against me. What are you doing? Nothing. Ah. He looks up at me. Want me to stop? No, keep doing it. Mm, okay. We should turn in soon. We have a big day ahead of us. Yeah, maybe. We sit in a silence for a little while, or maybe. It's a long time. I can't tell. It's nice silence though. I come for all one. Finally. And back to the uh, RV. We got like a little bit progress going on here. So not much we did. But we did go like a little bit through like the whole like uh, uh, Yeah, the canyon things. Or I will say yeah. Yeah, the hiking thing. And the campfire thing. So yeah. Uh yeah, uh yeah. Thanks you thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.